certified most accurate. Now your first worn five forecast. A good Thursday morning. Meteorologist John Gross here with your first Warren 5 update. Going to be a rainy and a windy start, especially at least for the morning hours. Let's talk about your wind advisory currently in play. That's for the Tri-Cities, the Thumb and Flint. That's going to go until about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Anticipating wind gusts just to be a little bit higher in these areas. We could be topping near 50 miles per hour, so a few local power outages not going to be out of the question. Here's a look at our wind predictor as we're going throughout at least the morning hours, and I think that's when our winds will be peaking. Right again, they're near 30, 40, could even crest 50 miles per hour at times. As we get into the afternoon, our wind direction will also change from the north or to the northwest. And it looks like our winds will also start to subside as we get later on into the evening. Uh, right below 20 miles per hour looks pretty good there. Pinpoint Doppler from MBS this morning showing the rain moving in a little bit heavier on the west side where the totals could be a little bit higher when it's all said and done. But this is going to be the main rain shield that we'll have to track at least for the morning hours. Colder air on the back side could possibly also change us over to a few snowflakes before the day is done and over with as we will consider consistently see temperatures fall throughout the rest of your Thursday. So here it is hour by hour. Again, the better chance for some scattered showers definitely going to be more confined to the morning. It looks like our precipitation chances will start to decrease by the afternoon, at least becoming a little bit more isolated. But as we welcome in some colder air by the evening hours, that could briefly change us over to a few snowflakes and we're not looking at anything significant or widespread, but just don't be surprised if you see a few snow flurries out and about late tonight and even could carry a few of those into your early Friday morning morning. Looks like we got some good news by the afternoon. Clearing trends are looking good as we get closer to dinner time. Friday evening could sneak in a little bit of sunshine Friday night before we get into the weekend Saturday and Sunday. So here's a look at our rain predictor on top of what you have already received in your neighborhood. Looks like about another quarter of an inch looks pretty good, but some local higher totals definitely the further north and west you go on the west side of the state uh, where we could be topping another quarter, possibly even half an inch. Some localized areas is closer to an inch there when it's all said and done. Temperatures today also going to be dropping consistently. We've reached our high temperatures, if not achieving that right now through the early morning hours. Now, as we get late morning into the afternoon, cold temperatures or at least a cold frontal boundary will move through. That's going to knock us down from the 50s, eventually 40s closer to lunchtime and only talking 30s for the overnight period tonight. So there it is the next seven. We've got 40s. Friday morning looks like we could sneak in some sunshine by the second half of the day. A few more week disturbances Saturday and then again into the day on Monday, but temperatures overall staying fairly mild 40s for the weekend into the 50s by next week. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go and online for more news and weather updates.